Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And uh, I want to do this video to show you guys um, a really nice piece for you guys who like to uh, go out in the woods and camp or into the, uh, the survival uh, type of stuff like that, the bushcraft. And uh, something that a lot of you have heard of and probably seen online, uh, but maybe don't really know what it is, and that is fatwood. Now, fatwood isn't any particular type of wood in itself. It's, ba it's just a nickname. Uh, it's usually a pine or a, uh, a fir from the fir tree. And what it is is that when a tree, I'm just going to use pine as a reference. That's particularly what this is right here. It's pine fatwood. Uh, if a pine dies or if it was cut and then it dies, um, all that sap from the tree runs down into the heartwood, which is basically the core of the tree runs down into the heartwood and into the base of the tree. So when it's cut or if it dies and breaks off, uh, you'll want to find where it's cut off at, you know, if it's the stump or if it's halfway up the tree or whatever, and chop away at the wood and you get fat wood because it is where all the, the sap and the resin runs down and collects into one area. Now pine in particular has a lot of sap, resin, whatnot. Um, and sap and all that stuff is very, very flammable. So that's what makes this so great for backpackers, survivalists, and stuff like that. And this is what you would want to find. If you're out in the wild, if you're out in the woods somewhere and you need to start a fire, this is perfect. It is waterproof. Uh, if you get this wet, it doesn't matter because it's uh, dried sap, which you can see that lovely um, amber color. It's all the sap and the resin and everything. So this is really perfect. You can uh, chop this up into little bitty shavings to start a fire with, you know, keep it in your, uh, your fire kits and whatnot. And uh, it's just really, really great to have. And it actually, it's, it smells amazing. But I was lucky enough to find this when I was out doing the, uh, the field test video with Blade HQ. I was out in the woods and found an old dead pine. Me and Gabco chopped it up and we got some pieces of this nice fat wood. So I'm just going to give you a little demo of uh, how this works and what you can do. Do some different techniques to show you guys. Got my trusty Swiss Army knife. Yeah, you can find this online. You can buy the already shaved, uh, the already shaved pieces of it. it. Usually comes in little cans or whatnot. Uh, you can buy uh, chunks of it off of County Com. Uh, but you know, if you're lucky enough, you can find it naturally like this. This is where a good sharp knife comes in handy. I uh, just want to take note, all the resin and you know the sap and everything builds up on your knife blades. So that's something to think about. It's kind of difficult to clean off, uh, but it will clean off with a little bit of alcohol. What you'd want to do, I'm going to try to collect all the shavings onto some of this pine bark. Um, see how well that works. This is about the best area that I have to do the filming. But yeah, what you'd want to do is you'd want to get your knife of choice and just do very, very fine shavings. I'm gonna zoom in. Here again, this is when a good sharp knife comes in handy. I'm just using this knife as a point of reference because this is what a ton of people have. Not the sharpest in the world at the moment. But yeah, it's called feather stick or fuzz stick. You'll just wanna make those little curly shavings kind of collect them all here. I'm probably going to cut the video and uh, until I get some good shavings here. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so you have your little pile of shavings here. And uh, you really don't need a lot to start a fire. Uh, the, the important thing is you want really small, fine shavings. That's what's going to catch. Um, you can catch it easily with a lighter. But the point is, if you have a lighter, you're not going to need this. Just light some sticks and whatnot on fire with your lighter. This is very minimalistic. So we're going to use fire steel, show you guys uh, how well this will catch on. And uh, also explaining some different techniques. With things like this, you know, you can strike downward. But if you're not doing it very carefully, you know, you don't have much control, what happens is you're going to strike and you're going to hit your tender and sling it everywhere. Uh, a very popular technique here again 
is to uh, hold the striker in place and to bring the fire steel back. That's all. That's a technique that I like to use a lot. Um, a lot of times I like to use short, controlled, I like to call it firework <laughs> technique. Just make a bunch of uh, quick sparks like that. You don't get any really big sparks doing that, but you get a lot more sparks. Six of one, half dozen of the other. It's whatever you're more comfortable with doing. So I'm gonna try it like this first. It's really hard on this platform because it's not flat. <laughs> It's not working very well. All right, we're getting some good heat. Oh, there we go. And you can see how it flames up. Very it, it burns uh, for, a, for a pretty long time. Um, that pile will burn longer than a survival match, than one of those, uh, I think it's ITW emergency matches. All right, here's another, here's a chunk. Just light the tip. It burns just like a match. It's that resin catching on fire. It's very flammable. This will burn for a very long time as well. Perfect for starting fires. You can blow it out and keep reusing it. Like I said, there's a waterproof. Perfect for your backpacks and fire kits. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to comment. All right, guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614, peace.